Hey guys, so I'm recording just real quick here in the car. Um, wanted to take a chance, uh, not a chance, but take a second to go ahead and, uh, sorry, just had a lady stop, thought I was something going on, but uh, anyways, since you saw my camera with my microphone sticking in my face and realized everything was fine, but um, wanted to just talk real quick about something. Um, just was kind of thinking about it a little bit here, and it's something that, normally I don't give a ton of thought to and haven't really done too much with and that's the idea of if any of you guys or you know myself I'm thinking about a little bit any kind of New Year's resolutions in terms of my photography in particular and what I mean by that is you know do you have anything that's kind of pushing you to make you think you know this is something I really, really want to work on a little bit for this coming year, or I want to get better at this, or, you know, maybe it's something that you're doing a lot, and it's something that you're kind of getting tired of, so you want to change it up and, and switch things up. Now, I don't do a ton with resolutions, period. Um, not for any reason, be, you know, like, oh, they set you up for failure or anything like that, which, you know, a lot of resolutions, they do, because people put so much pressure on themselves, and by second, third week of January, they've given up on those resolutions and things they wanted to take care of. But for me, it's more of a situation where if I feel the need um, to make a change on something, I want to do something, I don't necessarily just want to wait until specifically January 1st because that date means nothing. Um, you know, to me, it's it's a situation where if I'm going to change something, well, dive in, make the change, and get rolling on it rather than waiting for that specific date. So that's kind of why for me, I've never really done a ton with resolutions. But last year, I did dive in on January 1st just because the timing you know coincided nicely where I happened to see it and it was that coming weekend I think you know I saw it just right at the end of the year um, and that was that project 52 I did which if you've listened to the episode of Shutter Time lasted you know six months something like that but I got what I needed to out of it and I'm not gonna rehash that but um, you know thinking about it as far as things that I want to change I'm really thinking that one of the big things is I've been really consistent with these videos of course and we're um, as I've talked about gonna be making some changes as far as what we're gonna be doing there uh, mostly in terms of schedule and things like that but I've also been really consistent with Instagram and started to try and get more consistent with my blog but what I'm finding is that the blog is getting a little bit lost in the shuffle and I want to do better there and I want to do better at just making sure I'm getting out and shooting more because unfortunately sometimes what happens when I'm looking to do these videos every single day I have just enough time to get out do my video and then I gotta get back to work or get back to whatever it is I'm, I'm doing that day and I don't have a ton of time to take pictures so I'm hoping that in combination with you guys here that I'll be able to start showing you a little more of the behind the scenes type of things as I'm out shooting and continue a new flow of, of work that I'm happy with work that I'm proud of uh, coming out so with that I'm gonna let you go I have a little more work to do on a small you know multi-part series probably a two-part series uh, that I'm putting together for you. Nothing super technical, just kind of a glimpse behind the scenes of a little project I'm working on. And um, that should be up sometime later this week. And I'm hoping because I've got a few days off and my wife works and the kids will be in, in school and daycare and whatever, that I'll be able to get out and do a little bit of shooting, maybe go to some places that I don't get to go to that often within an easy car drive from, from my home. And we'll take you guys along there if the weather permits we seem to be getting hit constantly with snow and sleet and everything else so see what happens there but for now 
If you guys have any photographic New Year's resolutions that you're thinking of, absolutely let me know. I'd love to hear them because sometimes those things can spur ideas for everyone else too. So, um, And if not, maybe you think it's a dumb idea. I can't say I disagree 100% with you because, as I mentioned, I'm more of the mindset of if you see something you want to change or you feel like there's something you need to work on or do, just do it. Don't wait for the new year to jump in. But, you know, it's that time of year, so something to think about. You guys take care, have a great evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow.